Hi guys, it's Shishkabobber1 coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. So, uh, where to begin in today's video? Um, uh, we're going to talk about tribes a little bit, but I've got to show you something, guys. Look who's on my map. Look at that name. Look at that name. Look at that VP, guys. Here it comes. 2335. Who do you think that is? Who do you think that is? It's Global One. I'll just I'll tell you right now, guys. It's Global One. We're going to take him out. I've already pre-cleared my map a little bit to get rid of some of the easier uh, bases, and I've also but uh, I've also um, boosted all the way because we're going all the way now. He popped on my map last night right as I was running out of boost and running out of time, so I didn't even try him. Um, but uh, he's even changed his configuration. Last night he was a corner base with two shock blasters. Now, as you see, he's uh, right in the middle, right in the middle. Uh, with the, uh, the HQ is right in the middle with two shock blasters uh, at the what would that be? The two o'clock and seven o'clock position, or whatever you can see, they're in front and behind the HQ, and these things are full of HP. But we, we won't worry about that right now. Um, what we're going to do is start start clearing the, the easier guys. I think everyone's A level or higher, so they at least have a hundred and ten uh, percent boost to their HP. Uh, we got an op reward boat sitting over here with one point eight million gold. My task force took down. Um, Tinderbox last night, so that was great. Good job, guys. Excellent, excellent work. And yeah, as you can see, we're full disco. And uh, yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Oh, one more thing I want to mention. Yeah, getting into the tribal uh, discussion. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I've only got two prototypes right now, guys. I've only got Hot Pot 3 and Shock Blaster 3. I really want to do a Damage Amp 3 with the tribal rockets. I think that's going to give me a lot of a bang for my buck, basically. So, plus, I've been feeling that. Like, I've been going against some Damage Amp 3s with the Tribal Rockets, and they hurt. They even hurt tanks. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's just what I'm saving up for. Prototype parts are running a little bit low. Um, that's, that's the problem. So, Damage Amp 3, I still need four glow sticks and one, uh, what is it, complex gear? Glow sticks are called what? Power rods? Yeah, power rods. Anyway, we call them glow sticks, you know that, guys. But look, sitting on 3.5 million gold. We've also got Dr. T with uh, about one hour remaining. Uh, I cleared stage one just doing an audio test for this video. Um, yeah, anyway, doesn't matter. I'm probably not going to clear Dr. T for this video. You guys don't need to see that. It would be pure carnage, I guarantee. So, um, yeah, we got three three bases on the map that need to be smited. And here's an A. 116.74. Uh, again, uh, that's 116% percent Da uh, bonus to the health and 74% damage to the uh, bonus to the damage. Getting my words twisted, guys. So it's verifying the stats. You see it's a 116 and it's 74. So that is correct. Uh, he's rocking a Shock Blaster 3, a Shield Gen 3, and um, uh, and a second Shield, shield Gen 3. I'm getting better at these these uh, sneaky Shield Gens. See the cord coming out there at the 10 o'clock position? I think the Shield Gen's hiding back here behind that tree. There it is. Two shield gen threes. Um, so because of that, because of that, uh, that second shield gen three is on the left. We're definitely gonna be dropping our troops on the left. Bart out the shock blaster three. You guys should know the routine by now. And we'll drop troops on the left. We'll make our way up, and uh, we'll take out the shield gen three. And left is that way. Yes, as we remember. Um, okay, so let's get right into it. Two barrage, and uh, one, two, three, four artillery just to start. Looks like it's a fifth. Okay. Kaboom. Dropping bullet. Tanks. Everybody else. I like to kind of stagger the drop with the Grens, if you notice. Uh, we'll go ahead and act. Oh, no, the Grens got the shock mine. Now, eh, whatever. Uh, I like to stagger the drop with the Grens. If you see where I've dropped the flags, that way they don't kind of bunch up. They fan out better. And I, I just, I find they're less likely to walk in front of cannons and stuff like that when you spread them out. I don't know. Just one of the things I'm doing. Okay, Bullet's getting a little bit low on health. He did eat a shock. Um, we'll take his drink after the next shock, although that might be pushing it. Okay, drink has been highlighted. Boom cannon, looking at my tank. We're going to shock that shock launcher and boom cannon on the left of the HQ. Uh, Bullet has his drink. He's doing good. As soon as that rocket launcher goes down, I think we'll go ahead and uh, flare to the left. Go ahead and drop another shock on that boom cannon. And uh, am I getting picked off by the cannon on the left side? I can't tell. Okay, uh, anyway, reflaring. Uh, I'm going to shock one more time. Uh, we're doing okay. It's only our third shock used. Are we under any rocket fire? No. No, we're not. So I don't need to throw a heal over there. Um, some distraction critters might be good. They might be a little bit too late. Yeah, they are. Uh, late critters don't really do anybody good because they usually die. 
And, um, okay, it looks like our tank took a hit, but he's still alive, so that's all right. Bullet is low on health. I'll go ahead and give him that drink right now, so he'll take it when he pops out of the shot. Uh, we do have a cannon that will probably spell the end to one of our tanks. Let's drop some critters in front of that cannon. Hopefully the grins don't destroy it. Oh, that's right, though. They're taking out that shield blaster or shield generator 3. So, actually, those, <laughs> those critters are going to do a number to that cannon. Um... Okay, keep an eye on Bullet's health. Cannon's gone. Shield Gen 3 is gone on the left-hand side of the HQ. We're not going to worry about that other one. At this point, we're just going to burn. Um, we've got 92 GBE, 24 for our next drink. Let's go ahead and take that drink right now. The mortar to the 12 o'clock of the HQ just went out by that tank. I do not want the tank to get targeted by that sniper tower. That sniper tower is giving us some problems. Uh, let's drop some smoke over there. And, um... Yeah, that Shock Blaster, Shock Launcher, I always get these confused, guys. The Shock Launcher is also kind of giving us some problems, slowing down Bullet and his ability to generate DPS. But I think the DPS of everyone else is more than enough to cover for this. I'm going to go ahead and smoke that tank again, although I kind of missed the smoke. So there we go. I think he's smoked now. And now he's taking out Grenz. You know what we can do? Let's just GBE that stupid Sniper Tower down. Uh, one Barrage, or one Artillery, two Artillery, Sniper Tower is down. 49 GBE remaining, 32 for our next drink. And um, maybe I can distract that shock launcher while we take our next drink. So go ahead and throw up the shock. Okay, let's drop some critters down here. Um, ah, we don't have enough for that drink, do we? Maybe we will if the sniper tower goes out. Yes, we do. Taking that drink. Shock launcher is distracted. Come on, boy. Shoot your shock. Shot is off. Bullet's getting that full drink, that full burn on the HQ. And just like that, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Be patient. Kaboom! Just like that. Um, um, that guy goes down to pound town. Uh, yeah. Courtesy of uh, Bullet's Best. Losses were, were okay. Very acceptable. Look at that gold, guys. 400k. Loving the tribals. Loving the tribals. Yeah, so let's go back to the tribal discussion real quick. Um, yeah, so obviously gold reward plus 60. Awesome. Uh, resource production plus 60. Whatever, we'll take it. I'm not sure if it's bugged or not on the gold. Um, either way, gold seems to be a lot better this time around. Uh, what's really giving me problems is the rocket, dam uh, rocket launcher damage and rocket launcher health tribals. Uh, because when bullets best or bullet anything doesn't really work too well for an HQ, I usually go for RZCM. And RZCM is really crippled by this rocket launcher damage unless you can neutralize the rockets. Now, I do have the rifleman damage boosted at plus 60%, but a dead rifleman does no damage, guys. So... Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit hemmed in in my options for taking down um, HQs, but I think I just need to try a little bit more harder on some RZCM hits and uh, probably find more success. But overall, it's a pretty good tribal uh, just because the gold is there. So let's just experiment with some more things. I've been running some uh, heavy Zooka hits with minor success, but um, it's still not my not my cup of tea on, on these hard bases. But uh, anyway, the point is, Tribals are okay. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to another cycle where they actually boost a troop that I use, because uh, it's been a couple cycles since that's happened, but uh, okay, whatever. Right, so I just keep staring at Global One. Um, I've, been, I've been thinking about him all day, to be honest. Anyway, we got to take care of this guy first, Tonino. He's a 134.74. Let's verify those stats, guys. Okay, uh, we're looking at 134 and 74. That's correct. He's got five boosted eyes. Okay. Uh, as you see, we're, he's doing the uh, kind of the meta, which I think is starting to change already because Global One just changed last night. But he's doing two shot blaster threes and the uh, corner corner HQ. Uh, we know HZ can make some really good hits on this, but uh, when I'm fully boosted, pretty sure we can just uh, march right in. Um, it's going to take a heck of a lot of GBE to work down these shock blasters and. Uh, I'm just thinking, do I want to try to bart out? Well, for sure we're going to bart the one out in the back. But uh, do I keep the one in, in the front under shocks? I don't know. Let's just drop some GBE and see what happens. Oh, well, the owner's online. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, so forget all about that. <sighs> okay, so here's the big one. Global number one, guys. Global number one. Now let's take a good look at him. Uh, 168, 104. Verify those stats, although I did just verify. He's a 168 and he's a 104. Uh, notice that top player bounty on the left-hand side of my screen. I get three crystals uh, when I take him down. It's not if. Um, yeah, so we got the same problems here, even, even more so, because he's obviously got seven boosted ice. Um, 
those shock blasters have a tremendous, tremendous amount of uh, HP. And his rockets are located in the back, two in the back, one in the front. So an RZCM hit would also be a bit challenging for me. Of course, we're going to try it with bullet anyway. Um, this is probably one of those situations, in fact, where uh, we're going to swap out the tank for the Zookas because I know we're going to need that DPS to get any kind of a burn going on the HQ at the end. So I think we'll at least open up with this with this style of attack. And um, yeah, it's going to take a couple of couple of attempts for sure. I highly highly doubt it'll be a one shot. Um, and now his base. It's symmetrical in terms of uh, buildings, but not like the count of buildings, but not the, in terms of placement of buildings. And um, because like what I'm looking at is I see that we've got these three wood storages over here. And actually, it's not even symmetrical in building count. There's nothing to account for that on the left-hand side. Um, so I think we're going to go right just to pick up some of that extra GBE. And uh, although he probably wants me to go right, but I don't care. Um, Let's just try to, as in this opening hit, let's just let's just take out the first shock launcher with Bart, and let's work on the second one, and let's see if we can generate enough GBE to take it down by the time we get into its range. Uh, you can see where its range is right here. It's kind of hugging the uh, sniper tower and the machine gun. So we just kind of got to keep that arc in mind, and uh, let's get into it. Let's see what happens. Okay, uh, two barrage. And like all of my artillery, uh, one, two, three, four, five, just, just to start, six, and seven. Whoo, that's expensive, guys. That is expensive. Anyway, um, let's just let's start her up. Let's get bullet here and everybody else except the Zookas to the right. And, okay, bullet's going to be fine right now. Let's go ahead and put two barrages in over here. One and two. I probably should have done that before the fight actually started because once things start exploding, the screen shakes, and you're more likely to uh, kind of have a miss, miss tap or whatever. Uh, anyway, a little minutia, but these things do matter. Okay, hopefully my Grens are not in range of that cannon. Okay, that's beautiful. Looking good. Now we are getting close to the range of that shock launcher, and there is no way at all that we have the GBE to take it down. Let's go ahead and reflare. Put bullet under smoke. Now we're going to be in range of that stupid cannon. Uh, let's give him a drink right now because he needs it anyway. Okay. I am not sure what to do. Now we have plenty of shocks. Now, we know the, the range on that is the machine gun. Once we get into that machine gun area, we're going to start getting pelted by that shock blaster. Let's go ahead and put a shock on the shock launcher and boom cannon. Take a drink, and uh, we're going to need another shock in the back now. Shock in the back. This is where I really hope the Grens can just start tossing their grenades, but GBE is looking really, really tight. Shocking the... Uh, Shock launcher, shock blaster again. Why do I always confuse those things? I don't know. Uh, we, we're it's crunch time now. Bullet's about to die. We need to throw another shock, but we're not going to have enough for a drink. And um, it's looking like it's time to retreat. I'll be quite honest. And we'll have to we'll have to give it another go here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to play it out though, just to see what happens. Uh, the angle needs to be better on the grins. No, this is a definite death. Let's not give him any more uh, diamonds than he's already got. And let's just get the heck out of here. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to think about this a little bit. In fact, I'm going to pause the video. I'll, I'll come right back, guys. I'm just going to re-strategize off, off camera here. Okay, we're back. Um, sorry, I should have showed you the losses on that one, just, just to be concise or whatever. Yeah, so we lost uh, seven Grens and two, two meds. Uh, okay. Anyway... What I was thinking, guys, what I was thinking, what, why do I sound different? I sound different to myself. Um, I don't know. Anyway, what I was thinking was, uh, let's try to keep the first one under shocks, and maybe we can take that out. We'll bark down the, uh, the first guy. I think throwing those two barrages on the uh, one in the back really cost us in terms of GBE, and that was probably definitely where we failed. So let's jump right into it, guys. Here we go. I, I am pumped. I want to take this guy down. 
I want to take him down to Pound Town, guys. Okay, so, right. Oh, by the way, he's got about 19 hours remaining, in case you, you saw that smoke and you were wondering on that first Shock Blaster 3, so we're not going to sit here and wait for that to expire. Plus, I'm sure Global Number 1's on top of that. He probably has alarms set for that kind of thing. Um, so there, right, two barrage, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, probably need to start going a little faster here too, but that's okay, that's okay. We're just really testing out the strategy right now. We'll work on the timing later. Bullet, everybody else. Maybe I should have dropped them. Oh, shoot. We dropped the Zookas, guys. You don't want to drop the Zookas that soon. Okay. Anyway, what I was thinking was maybe we just want to drop everyone in the middle anyway. So uh, that's, I think, where my brain got crosswired. So we'll do this a little bit faster. Uh, two barrage. We'll start with six artillery, see where that gets us, and drop everyone in the middle this time. Okay. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six artillery. Yeah, okay, it's going to take a seventh. Bullet, everybody else, not the Zookas, and the healers. Okay. One more artillery to finish that Shock Blaster 3 off in the back. I did not check the range on the one in the front, but we'll find out soon enough, guys. Uh, we're going to step into it pretty soon. It's probably about where that flamethrower was. Yep, here we go. Let's flare everyone a little bit over to the right just to get kind of a better angle on it. Drop some critters between the cannon and uh, mortar. Just to distract for a moment. I don't know. I don't even know if they did any good. Um, okay. Keeping that shock blaster under shocks. We've got 81 GBE. The good news is bullet's not taking a lot of damage right now. This is definitely the way to do it. Keeping it under shocks again. Let's flare bullet directly to the shock blaster. And everybody else, of course. Putting them down under shocks again. Yes, I know we're eating mortar shells on the left, but I uh, don't really care right now. I'm going to go ahead and take that drink. 46 GBE. I will drop one more shock on the shock blaster, but this should get it down. Come on, bullet. Take your drink, buddy. Take your drink. Oh, we're getting chain shocked, aren't we? Retreat, retreat, retreat. Smoke, 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 smoke. Okay. No, we, we see the strategy already. Um, uh, need to watch the chain shocking, and um, yeah, that's about it. So if we hadn't been chain shocked, Bullet would have had the drink and he wouldn't have died. So yeah. Okay, we're back. Sorry I had an unexpected interruption, and <clears throat> Global Number One's been offline, but he's back online, so uh, I'm shooting the vid right now. Here we go. Um, yeah, so the plan is Bart down the one in the back and launch in the front. One and two barrage. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we know it should be seven. Okay, dropping bullet and everybody else, but not the Zookas and the meds. Get that seventh one out there. We'll try some critter distraction this time uh, for the first countermeasure, if you will, to the Shock Blaster as we get into its range, which should be just about after the Sniper Tower goes down. Yeah, even before. Okay, that Flamethrower is going to do pretty quick work on the Critters, but it buys us a little bit of time. We'll take that drink, and now we'll put them under Shock. Try to get the Sniper Tower, the Boom Cannon, and, uh, you know, the Shock Blaster all in the one Shock. Okay, everything's looking good. We just need to cycle some Shocks and hope that Bullet does not get Chain Shocked, guys. That was kind of our demise on our last uh, attempt here. As soon as that cannon goes down, I'm just going to flare. Let's go ahead and cycle that shock. Get that flare going. Now, let's not get chain shocked. That could very well be a chain shock. Okay, shocking the shock launcher. Shocking the uh, other shock... Sorry, shock blaster and the shock launcher. Taking the drink. Just trying to do too many things at once at the moment. Okay, good. Shock blaster's down. Uh, just need some GBE for the next drink. That's going to be our biggest concern. Possibly getting chain shocked as well, but we might be able to sneak a drink in. Uh, should we reflare bullet? That is a possibility. That's a great possibility. Let's reflare bullet to the right. We're going to probably drop a second smoke here. Um, yeah, GBE can afford it. A little bit of a gap. Hopefully those healers don't get caught in the gap, but as healers tend to do, they get caught in the gap. Okay, uh, we just need to get to 24 GBE. We're at 10. 
I just, I really can't spend GBE on anything else. But we're picking up these uh, wood sheds down here, wood storage, whatever the heck those are. 19 GBE, come on, one more structure. This machine gun's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Probably should have smoked. Taking it. We got the drink, guys. Okay, but now we're really short on GBE and we still got stuff that's hurting us. A uh, minute and 37 seconds remaining. Gonna need to get these Zookas out here pretty darn quick, but uh, it's not looking too good because well, it's taking too much damage and we're not gonna be able to get to that 32 GBE for the next drink. Let's try some critters uh, here. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be far enough away to get the shock launcher to turn. I can drop a heal. Uh, minute and ten. We, if we're gonna get the Zookas out or do anything, we'll get them out. But I just—it's really not looking like it's happening. But we haven't wiped yet. If that boom cannon goes down. That would be awesome. I can put another heal on him. Let's get those Zookas out. I don't know. I mean, he's not dead yet. Now he's dead. Now these rocket launchers are gonna absolutely kill. Let's get out of here. They're gonna wreck. Okay. Anyway, I wasn't really quite expecting to jump into this one. I was just testing to see if he was there. And oh my gosh, he was there. Uh, okay, pretty good though. We made more progress than the last attempt. So, what can we do? I think we need to just flare over there sooner. And that way we won't experience as much damage on bullet and hopefully we'll have more GBE. I guess that's the plan. Hopefully, oh, he's back online. You see, you see what they do, guys? Tricky Tricksters. So I'm uh, back. Uh, this has been a real struggle tonight, guys. Uh, Global One has been on again and off again, on again, off again. And when I'm trying to shoot these videos and that happens, or I get it, like one or two attacks in, or maybe one, or whatever, I'm changing strategies. It's very hard to do this. So I stopped shooting the videos. And guess what? We got them down. Um, we actually totally, totally changed our strat. Here's the attack log, dude. Uh, dudes. Uh, you can see, I mean, I really only... Um, well, actually, I think we're doing attacks before Dr. T, so you can't see all of them, but since Dr. T, I hit him one, two, three, four, five, six times. Uh, this was, uh, oh no, this was the other guy's base. I started doing Warriors, okay? Because I was running out of time on Dr. T, and I was doing him with Warriors. I was like, okay, let's just do Warriors, right? We're doing Warriors. So this was a C-level guy that was on my map. He was pretty, he was pretty good. Uh, we, I mean, you don't want to see this one. But I just want to show you the statues. See, I started off with, this guy had five boosted ice, whatever, you know. We, we took him down with Warriors. Okay, and I was like, you know what? Maybe warriors is the, is the way to go. Um, let's show let's show you what I was trying to do on um, the guy. Really, this first attack was a pretty good one. Um, the first attack I took on Global One with the warriors. Let's take a look at it. Okay, um, so here we go. The idea here is I'm just going to try to burn the shield down. He has about he had about 1.2 million combined health with the shield and the uh, HP on the on the HQ. Anyway, you can see the drop I did, a flare drop on the beach with a staggered warrior uh, release, and then immediately smoking them to protect them from that rocket launcher that was making that beach hot. We had a ground flare right in front of the uh, weapons lab, and then we flare to the weapons lab and drop a smoke there. The ground flare, of course, because I do not want to flare to a 4x4. Flaring to a 4x4 is just asking for death. Now, here we go. Um, you see where Bullet is right here? Like... When I flare the HQ, he's in direct line to it, and uh, or this way, this way, this way. I don't know which way it is, guys. This way. I had it. Yeah, this way. The direct way to the HQ is that way. And uh, this reverse thing confuses me, guys. Anyway, so he's going to be in the dead zone of the shock launcher. That's the whole point. You see the dead zone of the shock launcher? Okay, here we go. We're playing, and uh, we'll go to half speed. Not that it matters. Actually, it was a pretty good, pretty gosh darn good hit. Okay, so we've got the dead zone of the shock launcher showing. It's actually very tight because he's got the shock launcher spaced back, but we nailed it. Warriors are up there. There were boom mines on all four corners of the HQ. And um, it's a bit like watching paint dry right now, I suppose. I definitely hit that too fast. Let's just go cycle it through a bit. I don't know. Anyway, so we're shocking. You know, single times is fine. It was a fail. I put critters down there to try to distract. I'm not sure the shock blasters, but they were within bullet's taunt range, so he was just eating it. And uh, we always got a shock on the shock launcher. It's 10 o'clock at the HQ. And, um, yeah, we're just cycling our taunts. Now, here I made a mistake, and I actually shocked the uh, shock launcher that we were in the dead zone of. So that was pretty bad. 
And uh, then, of course, the shock launcher started shocking our troops. But look how far we got them down on that first attempt. Um, we had them pretty much halfway uh, just by doing that, trying to burn down a shield. So that was a pretty good attempt, and that was my first warrior shot on Global One. And again, we were playing this on-again, off-again game. And, uh, but basically, uh, I switched up the strats, and I think it was actually the first time, okay? I, I never re recreated a good hit quite as much as that. I only got the shield down one or two more times after that. So I said, you know what? Screw it, guys. Let's go for the shield gen and then back to the HQ. You know how I like to do it. Smoke all over the place, okay? So that's the idea. We're going to actually go all the way back to the shield gen. And, and GBE, of course, is going to be tight, even with everything boosted. So we're trying to be careful with it. I just do a direct flare all the way across the, um, what is this, an island? Yeah, all the way across the island to the shield generator 3. And trying to space my smokes out as much as possible. I'm still not quite comfortable gapping it. I just don't want that incidental damage as much as possible. Um, but I think gapping would have been better. Anyway, pretty good on the smokes, okay? Pretty good. Uh, could have done a little bit better on those last two, but uh, whatever. We got him there. Um, yeah, at a HQ level this high, it always takes at least two swings on the shield gen. Kind of depends how many warriors make it there, right? Two swings, it's down. Flare the HQ a little bit late, but immediately drop my smokes. Um, a little heavy on that last smoke again on the tail end, but I just that timing on those smoke smoke on the end just has to be right. So. I sacrificed the GBE. Um, here we go. Now, we're not going to be in the dead zone, but we're just going to shock the two shock launchers, guys. I mean, this is standard stuff, right? Um, here we go. I think, how much HP was there? Around 400k, I want to say. four to 500, somewhere in that range right now when the shield was down. And just like that, kaboom, global number one, went down to Pound Town. Brought you by Warriors. Of course. Of course, guys. Like, Warriors. Duh. <laughs> so uh one more thing i can bring to you while my statue boost is still running look at that oh we got the crystals too guys the three crystals oh yeah um in fact i need to work on the statues oh look we've got enough to make a masterpiece of uh magma so let's go ahead and start that up because i'm gonna go to sleep in a little bit anyway um okay well i'm gonna have to do a lot of editing on this darn video then i'll go to sleep uh was that a player base that spawned oh yes it is Olivier 64. Well, guess what? We're going to hit Olivier 64, guys. Um, and then we'll do the op hit. Uh, he's all offense. And you know what? We've got a great troop combination loaded up just for guys like this. Um, the shock launcher in the corner is going to be a little bit problematic, so we'll just bar it out, of course. One barrage, one artillery. And um, we'll actually come in from the, uh, from the Doom Cannon. I like to bring Bullet in a bit more from the center so that we get a better... Uh, better coverage on his taunt so more warriors survive actually you know what the gold storage is even better uh it'll give us a better line so i want to go to the gold storage and then to the hq the idea here is just trying to be cheap granted i do have a pretty good amount of gold i think i was up to five million at one point after dr t but gold is is, is good in this tribal so that that's awesome like i said it gives us the ability to change our attacks and it was that versatility that i actually capitalized on here to get global number one down and just changing it all up um, I just didn't like doing all this staggered progress with his him logging on and logging off all the time. It was making it difficult for me to climb the learning curve with uh, the bullet's best hit that I was doing. I was progressing every time, but remembering all the key details of the hit when you got a few minutes in between just stinks. And that's why I went with Warriors, because uh, they're quick, they're fast. When he's offline, I can just boom, 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 try to sneak some attacks in or whatever. You know, whatever works, guys. The strategy works on multiple levels. What can I tell you? Yeah, I've just been rambling, and uh, what are we doing? We're going to that gold storage. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Um, nothing fancy. Just drop everybody. Go ahead and take out that boom mine. I totally forgot to take out the shock blaster, but we'll, the shock launcher, but we'll, we'll take care of that. We'll flare directly to the gold storage. We'll start our smokes now. Oh, we're wrapping pretty fat. Whatever. Sloppy style. Okay, anyway, let's just do that one barrage, one artillery like I was talking about. Get a heal down for those warriors, and um, let's get them moving, shall we? Smoke and smoke. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, we had some casualties, but, uh, you know, it's what it, I'm just glad Global One is down, guys. That was the goal, and mission accomplished. What can I tell you? Shocking the shock, of course. Uh, drop some heals. Let's just drop a bunch of heals. Like, all the heals we can. Kaboom, just like that. Olivier, point sixty four goes down to pound town, guys. You know it. You know it. And we're bringing it with the Warriors. Now, like I said, uh, we do have an op pit to do, and... Uh, 
I may or may not include it in the video in all the editing process, but here we go. So, I haven't even looked at it yet. Uh, another fellow member started it up. Oh, we didn't even take the gold out of our boat. Yeah, how much is sitting in there? 1.8. See, we are we are rich in gold. You know what? Before I forget, trade in the resources, guys. Or the, get those raw crystals going. We can we can even dump gold. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, awesome, guys. Fantastic. You know, I know, 10 offense, whatever, but taking down global number one still feels good. I still get those three crystals, and he's still a challenge. That's the real reason why I do this. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at this assembler. Lots of free GBE. Oh, yeah, you know, guys, perfect for bullets best. Um, but can we get there in time? Probably not. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the uh, power core has a big, fat shield. Well, we'll kill the shield. Anyway, I know we're hitting this, guys. And uh, we just did a hit like this uh, a few days ago. Yeah, it'll be a 7-1 Gren Med with bullet in the energy drink. And um, we won't kill these cells. These cells are basically out of the range of most of the shock launchers. We'll take these cells out. We'll flare over to this area where the mines are and start working on everything else. This time it has a rocket launcher, but I don't care too much. I'm still, I still think one med. One med's going to be just fine. Um, I don't think we'll be able to actually kill it, but we're going to clear clear a bunch of junk out. Um, let's get going, because I think my boost is running a bit low. You only get three hours, you know, and we've got 50 minutes left, so I've been kind of working at this for about two hours, basically. Um, but it's been fun, to be honest. Well, it's I don't like playing that online-offline game that they, they seem to like to play, but uh, I, I understand the strategy. I, I, will, I hope they're not using a third-party app, because I don't like cheaters. Um... It kind of seems like it, but maybe they're just fanatical. You know that that's quite possible too. You pretty much have to be to be up at that level. So I can't I can't accuse. It's just the 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 the, the behavior is very robotic. But these guys probably are robots. Um, okay. Oh, we got Taunt. Yeah, that we no oh, close one. We need to make sure we get the energy drink. So I'll uh, just take one more final look at it. We know exactly what we're doing. Um, let's just do it and see how it unfolds, guys. And, uh, yep, here we go. Oh, what am I doing? This button and that button. And let's go. Let's go. Calling all the troops. Drop it like it's hot, but it's not. But we can pretend. But it's not hot. Okay, it's dropping everybody over there. And... I think I will clear that shock mine that's over here at once our troops start to advance. Uh, I'm just thinking ahead. I just don't want Bullet to get sh like I want. I want to make sure Bullet makes makes it up front and gets the attention of anything. I don't want Grens to run around and do crazy silly stuff. Okay, let's flare everybody over to this area. I hope those Grens are not too close to that um, power cell because they might kill each other. Each other. Little dangerous. Little dangerous. Okay. Yeah. See, one of them. One of them took a hit, but it's okay. I just. I really want to get it moving. All right. Now we flare everybody over here, drop some critters. Critters on the shock too, guys. You know how we like critters on the shock. Always the best. Oh, multiple critters on multiple shocks. Okay, bullet is not where I want him to be, so let's put a shock on the rocket launcher and the boom cannons. Um, let's also drop some more critters on the shocks. I'm gonna shock some grens too in the process. That's okay, that's okay. I mean, it is slowing down DPS, but that's all right. Now, we need to uh, mitigate incoming damage to bullet. I want to let him take a little bit of damage, though. Okay, let's try to hit all eight if I can. Did I hit eight? Yeah, I did. There's an eight shock for you guys. Of course, one of them's already dead, so technically it's seven, but it would have been all eight. Geometry dictates that. Okay, I don't really want to drop any more critters because I know I need to use a few up top when we get there. Let's do another eight shock if I can. Nope, not, missed the one in the front. That's okay. He'll be probably the first to go down. But anyway, Bullet's getting a little bit low on health, but, you know, we like it that way. And uh, we'll give him a drink here in a very shortly, very shortly, like maybe now. Okay. Things are looking great. 228 GBE. I, I think we have some GBE, guys. Now, what are those Grens doing? Oh, yeah, I forgot to farm that GBE down there. Well, last time, those Grens killed my critters, so this will be an interesting twist. Let's flare everybody up here. Now I'll put some critters down there. That's one thing I did forget to do. 
But we'll be farming up some GVE for the remaining minute 43. And uh, maybe a smoke on the healers, because you know healers are just, they like to lag behind. Drop some critters on all these mines. I want to get everybody kind of coming in from this angle. And I believe a shock is called for because the Grins will beat Bullet, and I don't want those uh, mortars to rain down on them too hard. Uh, another batch of critters in this area will be good. Well, Bullet cleared a lot of them. I was just trying to clear out more of those excess mines. Too many mines bunched together are always problems. I'm keeping an eye on Bullet's health. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that drink right now. GBE is absolutely in our favor. Minute and four remaining, guys. Shield is gone. Uh, I don't know why I shocked all that stuff, but we did. And um, the mortars, the only thing I really care about, uh, let's cut, put a couple Bart in them, I don't know. And uh, I guess even, yeah, let's just do one more artillery. I, they, oh, well, man, it's so slow to get there. Give Bullet a drink. And uh, we're about to free snipe this, guys. And I think, let's get everybody about here. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds remaining. I'm going. I'm going for it, guys. Uh, some heals. More heals. Uh, cycling drinks, because we have a ton of GBE. Barrage. Drink. Barrage. Artillery. Oh, man, I just lost our ability to drink again. Barrage. Artillery. Artillery. Kaboom, guys! Kaboom! We did it. Disassembler goes down to Pound Town. Yes, sir. Yes, it does. I didn't think we were going to get it. I honestly wasn't planning for it. I thought we'd clear a bunch of stuff, but I saw it and I took it. Once again, guys, this is definitely making the video. So, okay, you know what? Great night. Um, I had to work for it. I had to work for it. No doubt about it. But we got Global One down. We had a really cool op hit. Um, and that, there's nothing left to kill on my map, guys. You know, what can I say? Uh... Other than I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you have a super fantastic, awesome day. And like always, guys, remember, be kind to others, because if you're not, you're just being mean, and mean people suck. Have a great day.